Hi kids. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today is called art journaling. Art journaling is, I think most of you are familiar with journals where you write something in it every day, whether you have some kind of language arts um, prompt or poetry or you can even write quotes in journals. And that's what we're going to be doing here but in a very artistic way. So art journaling can be a jur in a journal, a, basically a sketchbook, you know, that has pages. Um, I personally like one that opens from left to right, not up and down. I also like um, the other way that you can do journaling is you can do it on pages, like loose pages and then uh, make your book later. So you put all your pages together and you can sew them together. You can make holes on the side with hole punchers and um, uh, take yarn and weave it together. So I'm going to show you that along the way, but I'd like to get started with a loose piece of paper because my guess this week, not everybody has everything that we need. Um, to put it into a sketchbook. I'm not sure that you all have that right now. But um, loose paper, like you see here, what I did is I folded a piece of paper in half. This is one piece of paper that I folded in half. And now what I'm going to do is show you how I created this. Now, this is Today is my journal entry of positive thoughts. So you can see at the top it says positive thoughts. I want to explore, live, grow, be happy, dream, choose, joy, be positive, love. You are unique. I am strong. My challenges help me grow. I am enough. Today I am a leader. I choose my own attitude. All my problems have solutions. It's a great day. So there's many more things you can say and be positive about. And one thing I want to tell you is when you look at the lesson today, I'm giving you about three pages, probably a couple hundred prompts that you can use as a resource. Otherwise, what you can do is um, come up with your own and how you're feeling inside. And you could even do this with poetry. So this is how we get started. Okay. I this does take some time. Uh, and what I did is I, like I said, I folded the paper in half. So on the other side of this, I'm going to show you how I got started. You're going to need a pencil. I used a sharpie and a marker, one that was very fine and, w and a sharpie that's a little bit bigger. Um, and an eraser, of course, and colored pencils. Okay, that's what I used. The way I started is I made a wavy line and another wavy line. Now watch how I'm, it's big on this side, small on this side. If I always make it wide on this side, it's going to look wonky and weird. So I got to go a little bigger on this side and smaller this time. Maybe this time I'll go even more. Oh, but now that's looking kind of boring. So now I might want to go bigger, smaller, bigger small, big, big, small, big, small. And just try to keep it, you know, wavy and interesting. If your lines are too thick, your words are going to be really big. You want thick, thick lines and skinny lines, okay? So, whoops, nothing straight though, so that would be too straight. I'm going to take this off. Okay, now once you've done that, you'll want to look at your quotes 
and think, what do I want to say? This does not give you a lot of room, especially if it's really big. Um, this does not give you a lot of room, especially if your quote is long. You might have to use two lines. But here's how this works, and I do it all with pencil first. Maybe I want to say, I am. Now notice how my letters, I'm going to use all uppercase letters and you want to go all the way to the top of the line and the bottom with every letter. I am happy. I'm just coming up with something random right now. Okay, and then on the next line, every line I'm going to be doing another quote. Okay, so another one could be, um, let's see what I used before. Um, dream, choose, joy. So I'm going to put dream. Look how big those letters are. I just spelt dream wrong. So that happens and that is why we have a pencil and an eraser. To make sure your words are spelt correctly. You don't want to go through all that work and have your words spelt wrong. Dream. And over here I'm going to put love because I know I can fit it in there. Now sometimes what I like to do is put a little dot in the middle like that just to separate. I also want to make sure there's a space in between words. Happy, I am happy. I could put something fun over here. I could put a little bird. I could put a swirly design, just something fun. Okay? So I'm going to do one more. Let's do, it's a great day. It's, I'm going all the way with caps, capital letters. It's a, and leaving enough space. Oops, look, I almost did a small letter that, that's not how you're supposed to do this. All capital. Ah, there we go. G R E A T. It's a great day. Now, if I had another word there, I'd have to use two lines. Remember that. If I ever have like some space left over, that's where I might put something like you know, just a little something fun like a bird or it could be whatever you want it to be. You know, whatever you like. You know, I would color that in, of course. All right, when you're done and you fill this all up with words, okay, then you're going to color it. And you're and you're going to go right over your words. So let's say I'm going to take my color pencils and I'm going to do, I'm going to take yellow, orange, and red. And I'm going to go in. And you want to stay, of course, inside the line. And maybe you don't want to go all over the, um, that swirly there. I know that yellow and orange kind of overlaps each other and blends nicely. Now, I think I am going to go over the swirly, just decided. And then maybe red. Now if I go too dark, you know, it's harder to see the letters sometimes. So I'm going to go lighter with the red. Like I'm not going to press as hard in other words. And I might just take this yellow and kind of blend a little bit. Okay. Oops. And 
There. So there's, I like that. I like that. Uh, and maybe the next one on top, I'm going to go with um, green. I'm not going very dark. And mm, I'm going to go with a light blue. I don't want to go with really dark colors. Okay. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, go with like a black, but then you would have to go in with like a white gel pen. Possibly a white pencil would go over it, but I don't think it would go over it very nicely. Okay, and maybe my last one I'll go with pink. And... Okay, now, you know, I just personally, I just have to bring in another color because it's, so I'm doing a magenta and a pink. Magenta is like a purpley or brighter, darker pink. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my marker. I'm going to go with my big one here and I'm going to write on top. Staying in that line, but you're only going as, you know, you're doing exactly how your pencil line was. Oh, I hope this isn't going through. I didn't think of that. It's always nice when you're using markers to have a paper underneath to catch any extra marker. I'm going to take my small marker now, but you could do this all in big marker. But if you want to try to be a little different, you can now, you know, use small marker and you can be kind of designy if you want. So I'm put little curly cues. So like I said, you can do it all in the big marker or you can have fun here by doing, you know, different stuff with uh, different size markers. Um, so just playing around here. Um, and, you know, maybe I'm going to just do one more here. It's, and you don't have to think about even spelling because it's all there for you already. Now when I'm done with everything, make sure your paper lays flat because it just picked up there. I take the thin marker. I, it doesn't have to have lines, but I took the thin marker and I went over. You gotta be very careful when you do this. Your lines, it just kind of makes it nice and neat and tidy that way. And that's pretty much how you build your paper. And you have your first page that goes into your journal. Now, I'm going to be showing you all different kinds of journaling this summer. There's going to be painting, drawing. I'm going to give you supplies. Whatever you have is good enough. And that's it. All done. I hope you enjoy this. And hope to talk to you all and see you all in the near future. Bye-bye.